Welcome to this discussion of LTE system information. In this video, we will explain the basic structure of system information in LTE and demonstrate how to use MathWorks LTE System Toolbox to acquire system information block type 1 or SIB1 from a live LTE signal. This picture shows an overview of LTE downlink channels and their position in the OFDM grid. If you're not familiar with those channels, we invite you to watch the video titled Understanding the LTE Grid before continuing with this recording. Here we simply want to briefly summarize the process a UE goes through in order to synchronize to a network. Here are the main channels involved. First the PSS and SSS, which come every five subframes, and let us figure out the frame timing and the cell ID or language the cell speaks. Then the PBCH, which informs us of the cell bandwidth and the room reserved for the PHICH. Next, the PCFICH, which is sent over the whole bandwidth and signals how many control symbols this particular subframe includes. Then the PDCCH, which is the first one, two or three symbols, except for the locations of cell-specific reference signals, PCFICH and PHICH. This channel carries information about where our data blocks lay and how they are being sent, and who the intended recipients are. Finally, the PDSCH, which carries the actual data bits. Let us now talk about system information in LTE. LTE system information is transmitted in the BCCH logical channel. A small part of the BCCH information is carried on the BCH transport channel and transmitted on the PBCH. This is the master information block, or MIB, which includes the cell bandwidth and frame number. All other system information is carried on the DLSCH and transmitted on the PDSCH like regular data transmission. MIB and ICIB1 are the only blocks with a fixed periodicity. MIB occurs in a subframe zero of every frame at the same location in the OFDM grid. SIB1 occurs in subframe 5 of every other frame, starting with frame 0. All other SIBs are scheduled as per the information carried by SIB1. Although SIB1 is transmitted in a fixed time schedule, the resource allocation of the PDSCH carrying SIB1 is dynamic and is indicated in an associated downlink control information or DCI message. The DCI message associated with system information, however, is always scrambled with SIRNTI, a fixed radio network temporary identifier, which characterizes system information. This means all UEs within the cell coverage can look for this piece of information even before being associated with an ENOB. So what is in SIB1? Information about the service provider associated with this eNodeB and whether the UE can access this cell, as well as information about the scheduling of other SIB1s. Once this information is known, the UE can proceed to read the rest of system information according to the defined schedule. We will now demonstrate how to acquire SIB1 from a real-life signal with LTE System Toolbox. As we have seen, doing so requires a powerful receiver that is able to demodulate most LTE channels. And LTE System Toolbox includes such capabilities. We will perform cell search and frame synchronization, demodulate and decode MIB, determine frame with subframe that includes SIB1, we will do so on the middle six resource blocks of the signal. Then use the whole bandwidth to perform the last three steps. Perform blind search of PDCCH space with SIRNTI, extract associated PDSCH resources, demodulate and decode PDSCH. Let me briefly describe the setup that we used in this signal recovery. We performed the capture of a dual antenna E node B signal at 15.36 mega samples per second which is sufficient to correctly sample all valid eNodeB bandwidth up to 10 MHz. The output of the instruments is fed to MATLAB. 
In this particular demonstration, we have stored the IQ output as a file on a disk, which we read into MATLAB to start the simulation. Let me now switch to MATLAB. This example has about 270 lines of code, but it includes many comments. So it is fair to say that it includes about 100 to 150 lines of actual MATLAB code. Here we load the IQ data from the instrument and we start the recovery process by setting up dummy parameters for the eNodeB configurations. In particular, we set a bandwidth of six resource blocks, which corresponds to the middle 72 carriers. The next steps will populate this eNodeB configuration with actual values retrieved from the signal content. Our first task here is cell search. Here we can see one of the LTE system toolbox function, LTE cell search, which provides cell ID and frame timing. At this point, we will have synchronized the signal with a frame boundary and we'll know the cell ID. The cell ID here is 17. We can now proceed to demodulate the PBCH. First, we estimate the channel over the middle 72 carrier. You can see the LTE downlink channel estimate function here. Then we can demodulate, decode, and interpret the MIB. As a result, the ENOB structure is now populated with actual values carried by the MIB. The cell bandwidth of 50 resource blocks, that is 10 MHz, the number of antennas used in the cell, 2, the frame number, 406, and the PHICH configuration. We can now demodulate the complete signal bandwidth instead of only the middle of 72 carriers, as we know the actual number of resource blocks. We can look at the absolute value of our received OFDM grid now. You can see the variation along the frequency axis over the 50 resource blocks. This is now the step where we will recover the SIB. Remember that SIB1 is transmitted in subframe 5 of every other subframe. Hence, we check that this frame contains SIB1 and we advance to subframe 5. Then we demodulate, decode, and read the, F the CFI value carried by the PCFI CH. Remember that this tells us the number of OFDM symbols reserved for the control region in this particular subframe. The next step is more complicated in that we now need to extract the relevant download control information or DCI message from the PDCCH. Fortunately, LTE System Toolbox also supports this task quite elegantly. First, we demodulate and extract the PDCCH. Then we use LTD PDCCH search to perform the necessary blind search through PDCCH data for a DCI message scramble with the SIRNTI whose value is 65,535. We can read and interpret this DCI message, which carries information about the resource block allocation and modulation and coding scheme used for SIB1. Finally, we can extract and decode the PDSCH data that contains SIB1. What we see here is the result of this whole process First, the QPSK constellation with the PDCCH symbols. Then, the CFI value and the DCI control information. If I rerun this example without stopping, you can appreciate how fast the whole process actually completes with the LTE system toolbox. Let me summarize what we have just seen. We have had a look at the way system information is being broadcast in LTE. We then use LTE system toolbox to extract MIB and SIB1 from an actual LTE signal 
and we have done so with under 150 lines of MATLAB code. This example provides a small window into the nearly 200 functions that LTE System Toolbox is comprised of. This example is one of over 30 examples that ship with LTE System Toolbox. This concludes this video. For more information about LTE, including how to generate, measure, or demodulate LTE signals, please visit our LTE System Toolbox product page at mathworks.com and search for LTE System Toolbox, or use the link shown here. You will find further information, application examples to download, more videos, and the possibility to request a trial of LTE System Toolbox.